Then the last part has to determine the ratio of R, H to R, as C is minimum. H is this H here, to R. Okay, H to R, the ratio. So ratio, H to R, of H to R, when min, that will be H dot dot R, H would then be P over pi R square minus 4R over 9. Uh, right, this is your H. But the thing is, uh, this is H. Okay, we'll put this as H. Minimum is when R is 2P. Uh, so this is uh, min. Min is when R equals to, let me just write R equals to uh, cube. So it's 2P. What did I get just now? 9P over 20 pi. So 9. R equals to 9 over 20 P over pi one third. Okay, so this is 9 over 20. All right, okay, great. So this is actually uh, just key in this in. So this will be P. Wow. Tough. Let me see. So don't have to worry about it. I think just write it down because now we have the R value there. This is what I'll do, p over pi. Don't don't substitute in now like that. So what I'll suggest is, this is what we need to find. We, we're just gonna multiply both sides with r square. That will be easier. So the r square, this would be p over pi, minus four over nine pi r cubed. Now, why do I r, put r cubed? Because I know that r cubed, uh, r cubed is uh, nine p over 20 pi. So this is a matter of manipulation. Uh, you don't get h into this weird form. So I'm going to multiply by r cube both sides. So I get r cube is equals to, this is pi. This is much better. This is 9 over p over 20 pi. This is also 9 over p over 20 pi. Then you substitute this in. Okay, sub it in. Then once you sub it in really, life is good. You get this as um, 1. Um, <laughs> four, 4 over 4 over 9 times 9 over 20 seems like a 1 over 5 so it's a 4 over 5 p okay pi 1 over 5 p over pi 9 over 20 p over pi so this case here uh, these are all in p over pi so you can just divide by p over pi Cancel the p over pi. This is uh, 9 over 20. So this will be 4 over 5 to 9 over 20. So to rearrange this one is all pretty okay. Just take 4 over 5 divided by 9 over 20 and we'll get 16 to 9. Okay. That's how we do this question here proficiently. If you have any questions or comments at all, please let us know. Keep practicing and I'll see you in the next question.